Hi all, this is Arvind here from Mind Magics, and today I welcome you all to this amazing video on the difference between Power Pivot and Power Query. Okay, so for those folks who are about to attend a Power Pivot interview, okay, so no matter you're a fresher or an experienced candidate, so this particular question is very important as far as Power BI interview is concerned. Okay, and this is going to be a short and crisp video, and we will be discussing only the difference. That's it, nothing else. Okay, so let's quickly have a look at the agenda for today's session. Okay, so as I told you, this is going to be a very short video. We will quickly discuss what is the definition of Power Pivot. Then we will discuss what is the definition of Power Query. The next point would be how do they work together? And then the final point will be what exactly is the difference between Power Pivot and Power Query. Okay, I hope you are clear with the agenda. So before moving ahead, I want you guys to subscribe to Mind Magic's YouTube channel and also hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from us. So without any further delay, let's get started. So if you talk about Power BI, as you can see on the screen, these are the various components of Power BI. Okay, so Power BI as a tool consists of two different parts. The first one is the Power BI desktop version and the second one is the Power Service. Okay, so Power BI desktop is a separate tool and you can download it from the internet and you can use it. Okay, so there are also a paid versions of Power BI desktop such as Power BI Pro and Power BI Premium, which provide greater collaboration for business. Okay, and if you talk about the Power BI desktop components, so as you can see on the screen, these are the three components which are present in that. The first one is the Power Pivot, the second one is the Power Query, and the third one is the Power View. Okay, so we are just going to discuss the first two components in this video and we will not discuss Power View in this video. Okay, so let's move ahead and quickly have a look at what exactly is Power Pivot. So Power Pivot is a sophisticated data analysis and modeling tool, which is available both in Excel as well as Power BI. Okay, so for those folks who have hands-on experience with Excel, so in Excel also there is this concept of Power Pivot and this concept is also available in Power BI. So it allows you to combine and analyze data from many different sources into a data model, and then you can share those insights with your colleagues or with your peers. Okay, so Power Pivot is great for drawing relationships between large data sets, tracking KPIs, identifying trends, and visualizing findings in shareable insights. So Power Pivot is capable of loading hundreds of millions of large data sets into a single workbook. Okay, it can then rapidly perform advanced calculations and create interactive visualizations using the DAX, which is also known as Data Analysis Expressions Modeling Language. Okay, so this was a quick overview of Power Pivot. The next point here is what do you mean by Power Query? So Power Query is a tool for extracting, transforming, and loading the data in Excel as well as Power BI. So same as Power Pivot, this concept is also present in Excel and Power BI. Okay. It can import and connect data from various external sources, including CRMs, databases, Azure, which is a cloud service from Microsoft, emails, files, cloud storage, social media, websites, and much more. So pre-programmed tools can then be used to clean and shape the data, converting it to an Excel-friendly sheet format. The results can be loaded into Excel, Power BI, or a Power Pivot data model. Okay. So this was a quick definition of Power Query. So let's deep dive into more details of Power Query. So Power Query uses the functional case sensitive Power BI query language, which is also known as M. And M here represents for mashup language. And this language is used to carry out the various tasks. Although this underlying coding is hidden behind a graphical interface, advanced users can access and manually manipulate it via the formula bar or the advanced editor function. So this can enhance the functionality and flexibility beyond what is possible in the graphical interface. Okay, so this was all about the Power Query. Now the next point of discussion is how do they work together? So these two tools are independent and do not necessarily need to be used together, but their functions complement one another very well. So while Power Query is used in the initial phases of data analysis to import and shape the data, Power Pivot is able to carry out advanced calculations and data modeling. Power Query can prepare simple but large data sets for the analysis purpose, 
power pivot is for more complex models and more powerful calculations okay so as you can see on the screen this is the diagram okay so this is your data which can be from multiple data formats okay and this can be from multiple sources as well okay so here once that data is brought to the power query so what you can do is you can connect you can fetch you can set up filters or various conditions on that data okay and once the data is present in the power query so power query is nothing but as we have discussed earlier so it is basically used for etl purposes extract transformation and loading okay and in transformation you can do various operations with the data such as merge combine adding or deleting any particular row or column that you want okay and you can also reshape the data and you can publish the data as well okay so this was all about the data in the power query after this the data moves to the power pivot okay and as we have discussed earlier this is mainly used for analysis and modeling of data so with power pivot you can also set up various relationships among the data you can also calculate extra columns you can create measures as well okay and you can set up various kpis or key point indicators with the data okay and as we have discussed earlier the language that is used in power query is the m language and for power pivot we use the dax language okay and once the power query and the power pivot is done with their operations so the next step would be the power bi component so here in power bi what you can do is you can visualize data you can do various analytics on the data and you can have interactive you know visuals as well with the data okay and to get the insights what you can do is you can ask particular questions through which you can get the answers for that particular question okay you can also publish and share the data with power bi okay and the biggest benefit of power bi is that there is facility of r and python integration available with power bi okay so this is the overall what you can say the functionality of how these things work together okay and now coming to the main point of this video like what is the critical difference between power pivot and power query okay so these are the points of comparison over here and this is the difference so if you talk about the role as we have discussed earlier the main role of power query is importing and shaping the data which is basically the etl operations okay and what is the main role of power pivot so here what you can do is you can model the data and you can perform complicated calculations with respect to data okay so this was the basic role of power query and power pivot and as we have discussed earlier what is the language for power query you have the m language or you can say the mashup language and in power pivot we have the dax language okay and if you talk about the key strengths so what is the highlight feature of power query so it has a very nice and easy to use interface if you talk about power query then you have powerful tools to import and clean the data as well okay so in the transformation phase of data you can use various tools and you can also import certain functionalities that you require to clean your data okay so the next point over here is all excel users can benefit from this tool okay so for those folks who have hands on experience with microsoft excel so for them working with power query is very easy in power bi as well okay and if you talk about the key strengths of power pivot so it can easily handle millions of rows of data okay so the large data sets can be easily handled by power pivot the next point here is modeling tools for efficient data storage and analysis okay so here you get various kinds of tools for data modeling purpose and you have also tools which are available for the analysis of data okay so the next key strength of power pivot is powerful dax calculations going beyond standard excel okay so the power pivot is feature is also present in excel as i have told you earlier okay so but the power pivot function in power bi is far more powerful and it can perform various complicated calculations using dax okay and this capability is beyond the excel okay so this is another key strength of power pivot okay 
So I hope you guys have understood the difference between the power query and power pivot. Okay, so as I've told earlier, this is a very important question. So if you successfully answer this question in the interview, so it will create a very good impression of yours on the interviewer. Okay, so that's all from my side in this video. If you have any queries related to this video, then you can write them in the comments box and my team is here to help you with all your doubts and queries. So thank you so much for being with us.